Thank you so much for sticking to Y254 TV. My name is Cheryl Blessing and you are watching The Power Talk Show. Now before we went on our short break, we were just having a conversation on forgiveness and is it possible to rebuild trust after someone has broken it? Particularly, now we want to get into the interpersonal relationships. We were just expounding on the parents and the older generations and how we can forgive them and move on, as well as our self-forgiveness. So I want you to go on our social media platforms at Y254, share a comment, an experience that you've had where you forgive someone and you couldn't trust them after, or where it was so easy for you to trust someone because you believed that they came from a genuine point. So we were just having the conversation with Alan and Patience so I want us to get into the relationship portion of it. So did you come out to kwa depend kwanza ju unadzo relationships, particularly when we talk about the sexual relationships are very, very intense. And with that it comes with a lot. So let us start with the friendship bit because we become friends before we get to relationships. Ideally that's how it should be. So with our friendships Patience, let me start with you. Because I feel like our la us ladies don't know complicating him and no conzac of friendship. Yeah. We we have drama. Sometimes it's drama over. Patience are kuni patia top, nani limwamba, so ako selfish. Mm. <laughs> you know? At address. At address. And it becomes a whole thing mm. that started from nowhere. So let's talk about so a friend who's broken your trust, particularly maybe talking ill about you to someone else. And in front of you, they seem like they're genuine people, but they're really a fake friend. But they, you find out, you forgive them, and they're trying to convince you, by the way, right now I'm real. Maybe in the past I wasn't, but right now, mm. you're my friend. Yeah. You know, I got you. Is it possible for you to rebuild trust in a situation like that? It's going to be hard, because I'll keep on remembering you did this last time. But you did this. So maybe when you when maybe I tell you to go with me somewhere. Then you tell me I'll not be around. Then that evening I see on your Instagram story you're out with some other friends. See, ungeniambia tu unenda out now friends wengine then kujo niambia ah siku nilitwa tu impromptu or anything. No, you knew you knew very well. So me personally that pisses me off a lot. So when the next time I tell you, um, so we can go out, then you tell me what I'm takwambia. I know very well the, the patterns are the same. You're going to do this and this again. So at the back of my mind, I don't want to believe that uta ruka, but I believe uta fanya tu ivo. So ilifanya ivo last time, nini ta make difference, I. So, uh, so, so I, be, I just feel it will be very hard for me to trust you because I still have that new manager. Ah, kuna yu pati ya brain ni tafungua nione. Idiot na idiot na idiot. I keep tabs. Ali nifanyia hii na hii na hii. So, I will trust you kidogo. I'm just giving the benefit of doubt. Kwa untaka kuja we kuja. But then, sita kutrust kabisa. Yeah, it's going to be hard for you to trust them again. I wish Kwanza was going to reaction here. Alan, but you may be under your scenario. Alan was probably thinking, huh? Is it, see you ni kitu minor? But you know, I feel like to to men, things that seem minute, because someone was sharing with me, ilikuwa a, a guy was sharing because he didn't get the, the whole point. Ni birthday Rafki moja, and the best friend didn't wish her happy birthday. So you are make catch feelings. And then the guy is telling me, I feel like, I don't get the point. Like, see ni birthday to, but to women, they really hold on to things like that. And as you've said, for some, it's harder for them to build trust. Yeah after a situation like that has happened. Alan, yeah. based on your reaction, it clearly doesn't happen that often yeah. <laughs> with guys. Yeah. But what would it take? What would it take for you to lose trust in a friend? What will they have to do for you to say, eh, I don't trust that guy anymore? Uh, let me use this small case. Huh? Today, a friend of mine called me and tells me, uh, Lawrence, I need you to give me, let's say even, uh, one dollar, which is a hundred shillings, uh, I will I will return. You get I've got no problem, honestly, because you've said you will return. I give you then that one because it's so minute to you. You'll be like ah, no problem. You know the next minute you'll come telling me like give me let's say ten thousand shillings. Do you think I will give you? 
already it, broken yeah trust. i've already broken the trust and the bad thing about trust no matter what you come and explain unto me it's like as much as i can give you benefit of doubt but it reaches to a, a point you also need to remove the benefits and take people for who, for who they are somebody has shown me their true colors why am i trying to paint them that you know what let me paint them to my color of preference it cannot work like that so the point is those minute things that we tend to ignore they build up into r big red flags i call them the red seas because it was just a flag but now it now is the red sea <laughs> yeah so uh, for me all those uh, small small things that i really treasure it's it's very important we've agreed that we are meeting at at eight and you come let's say later d during the day and you don't explain at all uh, to <laughs> me that one I uh, no 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 nah, but then we've said as we were starting this conversation we talked about self-forgiveness yeah. we talked about growing because we all grow and we change yes we, we, we will uh, even i will forgive you no problem yeah uh, forgiveness granted but access denied because <laughs> let me yeah let me protect my 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 like my, my space because mm. I don't want toxicity. I want to control my environment. I want to control my proximity. Yeah. So it is very important. The things that we tend to ignore at the very onset, they are the ones that come to hurt us at the very Later yeah, on. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so you, you ascribed to the forgive but don't forget. Where is the how? Kidogo, side eye. It was just a lesson. It yeah. was a lesson for me to pick from there and I move yeah. on. Yeah. Now I wonder in a situation where someone genuinely changes, let's say this the case file that you've given, because I, I, I think I've had the, the experience before. I've had situations where you invite someone and they don't come through, yeah. but then you see them going for someone else's yeah. thing and you're like Go. What's going on? Yeah, <laughs> With yeah. no explanation. Yeah. So sometimes we really assume and misunderstand. What if genuinely it was something that they were invited to last minute? and it was so urgent, or there was some pressing, there was a need for them to be there. But because we do not really understand the full picture, we'll see it as, Ali sema no to my thing, akaenda hapo. Or a situation where we've given the case file, this person has grown from maybe when they were starting, maybe mkiwa freshers in uni, ali kwambaya tu, maybe her keep time, her fanyi nini. But they've also matured through experience and through life. They've matured, they've become better, what would it take for you to trust someone after they've shown you to tuseme tu wamekwensha pepper alafu sasa sasa hii you're trying to be like eh maybe pepper isn't that kali you know how do you get that they broke your trust you forgive them but you're still trying to rebuild it and they have genuinely changed patience how can you get to that point of building your trust completely with them it's going to be still hard cuz as much as you have we have grown this and this have happened <laughs> <laughs> it's the processing for me because yeah. <laughs> hey patients are like hmm? yeah. uko sure may change <laughs> yeah, exactly that's the question yeah. uko sure may change uko sure hauta nifanyie hivyo tena yeah. like constantly <laughs> i'll be thinking apana uli nifanyie hivi last time ama maybe that case that i've given when you said it's last minute whatever if it's last minute it's like a good thing maybe an appointment or something should i say official to come here but then no you're outside with you're out you're just having fun and all that so at, at the back of my mind i believe ah uh -uh, ah you can choose the other people yeah. so i believe no you yeah, why would you do this? Even the situation that Alan has given, if you've trusted someone, you know, most times I believe in if someone asks you for money or something, give them without expecting it back. Yeah. But the fact that someone can offer to say, I'll pay it back, and then they do not communicate, they do not say anything, then you can wonder what happened. Were you really my friend, Oma? Were you there for the finances? Mm -hmm. Now getting into the relationships. Because so many people, especially in this day and time, unamonga the first mistake ender. Because as Alan, you've said, the red flags are what build up. So the minute you see the first mistake, sometimes people don't even communicate. They don't even share and talk about what happened what made me feel this way so i want us to get into that and figure out what happens but before that let's go into the comments and this is from facebook we have julius murega who says tuned in from nyeri town asanti sana julius 
Isaac Nalianya says, hello, I'm watching from Butere. Trust cannot be rebuilt after forgiveness. Let's just forgive one another and everyone take his or her way. <laughs> we are human beings. I'm talking out of experience. Thank you so much for that, Isaac. We have Ibrahim Yasir says, Niko locked, bonde cheringanyi, na wacheki ndani ya mjengo. Asanti sana, Ibrahi. Hope tunakubamba. Avi Salashia says, once trust is broken, everything changes the way you look at your partner. Unonanga huu mtu, ni nongwe tu. Eh, hey, yo. <laughs> Asante for that. We have Stacy Beth at the Ambu who says, not my own trust. <laughs> so, eh, hey, watu wamesema apana. Bramwell Boke Kedi says, nothing is impossible before the Lord. Human beings are all equal before God. We should be ready to forgive our friends, family members, and neighbors too. Thank you, Bramwell. I think... You, you, you may talk from a perspective of a true Christian. <laughs> Nikangovo Mrege says, following outer 237 thika, asanti sana kutu watch. Thank you so much. I think we've only had one comment, mtu akisema, by the way, it's possible to forgive. The rest really believe, forgive but don't forget. And I think most of us really, we, we are similar. And as, as we've gotten one comment, you know, I was talking to someone who was saying, we have to be like Christ. We have to replicate Christ, especially if you're a Christian or whatever religion you believe in. You have to emulate your creator and do as he would do. And in Easter, I mean, he died for our sins. He did not commit sins, but he died and said, it's okay. I'm covering this and every other generation to come. And it takes a lot for us in our human nature to get there. So particularly in relationships. Once trust is broken, Alan, if your partner, let's start from a situation where they've cheated, which is so major, and it's not, let's not even talk about cheating where they were probably involved, maybe cheating in terms of they were flirting and they were emotionally invested in this other person. Do you think it's possible to forgive them and trust them after that? Oh, wow. It's, it takes a level of maturity and the depth of the relationship. The other thing is, uh, you know, once somebody uh, realizes that they have wronged you or they're on the wrong, there are two things here. Some people will, uh, uh, will ask for forgiveness because you've caught them. Mm. And some people will be genuinely sorry because they feel that they have betrayed themselves, not even you. So there are two dimensions here. So at times people, people will ask for forgiveness just to please you. But true forgiveness is a forgiveness whereby you've realized to yourself that, you know what, genuinely I, 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 I'm on the wrong. And true forgiveness can only be depicted by your action, not even your words, how you, tr how you transformed uh, from that incident. So the thing is, uh, if let's say cheating has happened, uh, especially emotional, emotional cheating, which is so much uh, happening in this uh, age, age, and, uh, age and era, whereby people are just fluttering around, you know, that is betraying your partner. So for that case, uh, there is nothing as, uh, uh, as like it was a mistake, because m most people tend to say, so at you, oh, it was a mistake. Why are you playing with fire? And, or why are you playing in the rain and expecting that the rain will not, will not fall on you? So if, let's say, it has happened in, the, in that uh, kind of a situation, because we cannot run away from, from the reality, is for you to have this conversation. Have this conversation, be sure that you've, forgive the, you've forgive the, uh, forgiven them, rather. Then the other person should guarantee you that they are going to change their character. But uh, to some extent, especially as far as relationships are concerned, I always say an alligator in Kenya can never be a crocodile in the U.S. <laughs> so you've got to be a very serious person when it comes to that. Th you need to know what are your non-negotiables as far as relationships are concerned. Yeah. Yeah. And I think that also comes with maturity. Exactly. The older you get or the more mature you become, you realize this is what I'm willing to yeah. tolerate and this I cannot. And on that note, because trust is really hard, hard to build if someone has broken, particularly in a relationship. Because if you were cheating emotionally with this person, how many other people That's have true. you been cheating on me with? And the fact that you brought out the fact that people are, are this, they're sorry because they're caught. They're not sorry because... I've realized that I've messed up, and I come to tell you that, Alan, by the way, I was talking to so-and-so, it's because you caught them in the act. Now, in a different case, let's, let's say, patients, your partner does not disclose everything. 
they don't want me feature some information. Maybe even it's finances, maybe it's about their family, maybe it's something that affects both of you. And then you come to find out through a third party. So when you confront them, they tell you the truth, but they didn't tell you the truth to begin with. Is it possible for you to forgive and trust your partner again after that? I would forgive, but I would not trust 100%. Because when you're in a relationship, you're one. <laughs> you're one. So it means everything I'm going through, I'll share with you. Sure. It's basically, this is you or Willie. We are working together. So I believe if anything is happening to you or any family issues, you, ju you should just let me know. I should not let it uh, get all the information from another person. So I'll feel I am not enough or I am not enough, um, should I say, you, like, and you can't trust me enough with all your issues, but you can trust another third party. So why are we in a relationship? Because a relationship should be open. You tell me everything. So I believe I can just forgive and maybe I explain Mbona Lifanyahina. You maybe ah, I didn't want to include you in this and this, as they always say. Yeah. Or say, kuna tu excuse ingine ni mesahau. Ni mesahau ni takumbuka. Kuna tu excuse. No, no, pia hana mbeja nchaka sijua tayana. Sema nga ite. Kuna tu excuse. Umeambiana gani, Alan? I'm protecting you. Yeah. <laughs> Why are you protecting me? I know. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. So, yeah. Uh, uh, Mimi, no, I'll just forgive you, but I won't trust you, Kabisa, because you didn't trust me in the first place. Yeah. Yeah. And they didn't come forth and tell you, by the way, this is the situation. You had to find out through someone else. So, if they didn't tell you, it brings us back to they're sorry they're caught. Yeah. It's not because they're yeah. sorry they <laughs> didn't tell you. Yeah. Now in a situation where I'm talking to you, Alan, let's say we are dating, yes. and I have been, I have been dating, and I have been in a box, and I have been in a sleep up one time, yeah. and I come and tell you, by the way, I'm really, so this and this happened, I confess everything, and I tell you I am willing to do whatever it takes to rebuild this relationship. What? How would you receive that? What? You know, uh, it, there are two things here. You can be genuine, but in most cases, some people tend to be manipulative. You just una chela safe eh? in the generation that manga chela safe. In terms of just in case I'm caught, I'm like say I told you, you get. So it is kind of manipulative because w what is the motive? Because it's not about what you are saying. The motive behind what you are saying, it is what is more important than anything else. So mm -hmm. we have to go back and look at what was the motive. I have to listen w to what was not being said, not only what was said. Because you can be telling me to protect yourself, or rather you are telling me to prove a point. Maybe I'm, I'm not appreciating you enough, or I'm not celebrating you enough. So you are showing me that manze ni kosoko. So kama ni kosoko, you know, I have to up my game so that I can be able to accommodate you. Mm. Yeah. So it comes from, it's where the person is coming from. Yes. The intention yeah. behind yeah. them confessing. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, so basically, you can trust me. Even to know me, Yes, because sincerely, come come on, we don't have to date. What you So the the point is, uh, yeah. uh, uh, if at that particular time, maybe you felt genuinely you're coming to tell me, as a man. There are two things who also will come in play. Maybe you want to bruise my ego or there is a silent communication you are giving unto me. And also the tone and the mood matters the most because men uh, 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 kind I feel we are a bit delicate as far as relationships are concerned because anything you sleep heavy kidogo, we are done. Mm -hmm. So uh, as far as trust is concerned, it is you now to understand your partner more. There is no proper manual about it. It is you to understand me and you, me also understand you yeah. well enough. And through that, we, we are going to build a, a stronger relationship. And especially we are talking in the season of uh, uh, Easter and all, uh, uh, all these things. Especially as, as, as Christians, we got to be people. I like the aspect you brought. It, we got to be Christ-like not like other Christians. I ought to do things uh, thinking if I was, if it was Jesus, or if it was, if I am a, I'm a Muslim, if it was my creator, how will they handle this situation? So it is you to ask wisdom from the Lord. 
because we can do all these things, we can say 17 ways of how to build a relationship, mm. all these things. Not unless a relationship is founded on the foundation of God. It mm. is nothing. Do not be so much excited that your partner loves you or do not be so much excited that the guy is loving and all those things. Do this person have a genuine connectivity with their creator? through that because if they have a, a proper connectivity with their God, then there is a way they can treat you accordingly because we are all made in the image and the likeness of God. Yeah, yeah. I like that. Yeah. So it trickles down to the personality. Thank you. Now, Sasa, that, that situation you've said, it, it depends on the intention. Yeah. What if I'm genuine? Yeah. Like, I genuinely wronged you, patients, yeah. and I feel genuinely horrible about it. And it's from a point of integrity, and I'm coming forth because I feel bad about the situation. As, okay, not... Uh, <laughs> 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 yeah. Let's talk about your boyfriend. If he's just being genuine and he comes and tells you, babe, because the first situation, he's not the one who told you. You found out through someone else. Kama niye amekuja kasema, Hii na hii situation ime happen, uu mtu amekuwa na nikatia by the way, na kidogo alinibamba, nika muentertain but babe ni wewe. Is it possible for you to build trust from that? Amekuja kajisema. Mwenyewe, and you know the personality of your partner mm -hmm. is, he's someone who's honest and akifanya makosa atasema. Hata feature, anakuja tu anakuambia ukweli hivi na hivi ndo ilifanyika, anakuanya shata proof. How would you receive that? Um, I will know when he's genuine. I'll just feel it. Yeah. So the same way I wouldn't, maybe someone else will be telling me that and be like, ah, uh -uh, no, no, no. But when you're telling, when I can feel that you're genuinely sorry, I'll trust you. I'll just know what, it's a mistake. We all make mistakes, so I'll trust you. But if I don't feel, like, azi, una nicheza. Maybe kuna nini inetoje, kuna vitu umehide nini nini. Or as he said, you're just trying to be manipulative. Yeah. That is if I don't feel feel what you're saying but if I feel I'll trust you mm. yeah. and you know there's always this concept oh, sorry there's mm. always the concept of men can lie and they <laughs> will cry what Alia <laughs> <Exactly. laughs> <laughs> Nana could danganya the whole time so let me pull up the comments and then I can get back okay, to you okay, Alan okay. as we're winding up um, uh, this is still from Facebook I believe we have Bridget Sambat who says when trust is broken, it can be rebuilt only if the people involved are serious about it. That's true, because that's an aspect of intentionality. Name okay, and I say, Ajisasa. Ajisasa. Deno Jiwali says, Kayole is watching. Thank you so much for watching us. I don't know, do we have any more comments, Timo? Yeah, we have uh, Racha Joseph says, impossible, Kwangu. Never. Kwanza I emphasize. Stacey Diana says, wa. Mimi bado ni na hilo swali na sijawi. <laughs> Hajawi pata jibu. Eh, Stacy, ni kubaya aje uku. Eh, I feel like, based on the comments that we've gotten, there are so many people who they've lost trust because they've had some bad experiences where they feel like even after you've given someone your trust again, it's possible to break it. The way we were talking about how ways you are, unless you want a habit over time, na years and years, ndo useme, maybe I'll change. Because you never know if someone is just faking it again. Now, let me wind it up by bringing it to workspaces. Because peer job kuna otu wana tuko saying, ata boss aneza kukasirisha useme, sasa hizi ni nini? Or a colleague, because you know, we are in a situation where people are competing for the same exact opportunities. Patients, if you find out one of your colleagues, Amanda, I'm a bad mouth, you name, uh, she has dragged you through the mud and mm -hmm. said all sorts of lies. But then the minute you find out, they're like, oh my God, I'm so sorry. It wasn't intentional. Maybe this was happening. Is it possible for you to trust that colleague again after that? Kwanza, when she says this was happening, you should not blame a situation on maybe what, maybe say you're going through something, then you say, ah, it's just because I was going through something. No. Don't vitu zako za inje zisi ingiane na vitu zako za kazi. So would I trust that colleague again? I would not trust that colleague because I believe if you did it the first time, you're going to do it again. So all I'll have to do is to avoid that person, to avoid being in spaces where he or she is. And nifanye tu kazi yangu ni muache tu. Because yeah. you uneza kwa tu na hang out na yekumbe ana collect. Okay. If, <laughs> Maybe he's, collecting yeah. data. Uh, he's collecting data. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because <laughs> if you're hanging out with, I'd say, a lot of journalists, 
maybe mm. waneza tuko wametulia na sikiza story zako kesho unasikia on air <laughs> so like no 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 you <laughs> can't do <laughs> eh, 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 exactly so oh, i would avoid that person maybe if atakat kona yeye a mind so unajua it all started with me so if i don't uh, try and put myself from all those people that are hurting me they'll keep on hurting me so mbona niende penye yako si niende to place ingine. i have a choice of not staying with that person yeah. not going to places or being in scenarios where they are or including in everything so sasa see let me just leave niache tu akapo juu unajua hata change mean mean to change penye niko yeah. so yeah so it's up to you to change your environment and even your perception of the whole situation yeah. useme tu let me stay by myself see a must unajua by the way vitu zingine si lazima cuz eh alafu now i wonder kani boss wako alan kama ni boss ndio maybe the way we were talking about the older generation sometimes they're threatened by young people coming into the job market they feel like you're threatening their positions upate ni boss wako ndio anapeana reports mbaya constantly kukiwa na opportunity haizi sema alan ako available if there's anything they like yeah, alan is late alan does not do his work vizuri alan anakujangata java official you know <laughs> and then you find out about it is it possible for you to forgive and trust your boss after situations like that have happened well Okay you have a job boss you don't compete with your boss at the end of the day but let me tell you toxic working environment is a real thing that people never want to talk about it yeah. it is many people are depressed at their place of work but people cannot talk siju tuko tuna national day for people to go and, and just mourn at <laughs> you know you understand so mm. at work your colleagues are your colleagues they are not your friends you have to de- put a distinction where could you do your work you get do what you have to do but at a personal spaces try and avoid it because once familiarity crops in there are some levels you guys ca- like there are some boundaries that will not be put in place so try to maintain a lot of professionalism especially when you are working and through that you will be able to avoid some things and alter your expectations on people that is why we end up being frustrated because we have so much expectations on these people so lower your expectations on on people and trust yourself that anything can happen this person can go out there but mouthy because remember you are in a competing space and especially you are you are colleagues that you are on the same level they will try anything and everything to displace you so what i can be a huko and or but mouth and do all those things but do not lose your identity no matter what they do be quick to forgive but do not let it get into your heart and even if they praise you at work do not let it get into your head yeah take it as a compliment and move on do not be so much invested into your colleagues out of experience mm-hmm. and many people will attest to this working environment it it is a high time people need to change their mentality people we just need to to be realistic and 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 uh, no need because you can never grow tall by cutting others short let each every mm-hmm. let each person shine their own shine yeah. today you cannot be behind the camera today you cannot be the one hosting so no matter what you do you can go be there but mouth somebody you cannot you can go do all those things but whatever you have to do just do it and go home watch a mambo mingi acha una jam yeah <laughs> 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 to add on that, mm-hmm. um, i was reading some i read a lot mm-hmm. uh, the sky is enough for all of us to shine yeah. that's why kuna stars mingi they all shine at the same time so mbona ni kuweke chini and we all have the same opportunity to shine at our own time so i can shine ni shine uko australia mwingine ashine uko mwingine ashine uko just because we let each other on the same place nona mm. and i like that napenda hiyo advice yenye mmepeana because you know so many people especially when they're new to the job market they come in thinking all these people are my friends i'm so excited to be in this space mm-hmm. and then you maybe disclose some things even about your personal life your family and those are the things that can be used against you mm-hmm. because you never know the way you're saying not everyone understands the concept that to co- how many billions of people like, exist yeah. and still every single person mm-hmm. has their own life they have their own space yeah. people do not really understand that because some people will want to fight you because one on a mbona nyota hui na waka brighter than mm-hmm. than yangu tumerudi kwa nyota wanataka ku dim nyota yako because they feel like yeah. you're intimidating to yeah, them yeah. and that is a problem because you have to understand that 
huyu anaweza kusaidia nyota yako pia kwa Alan Sombuga be like that. You know, it's possible for you to add value to each other's lives yeah. as long as you coexist peacefully and harmoniously. And so many people do not understand that. But e conversation tangu yanze, mimi si just came kisema mnaweza trust mtu. Mtu akisha break trust and you see just came to kisema in this situation it's for you only echoed that when you said if you feel like the person is honest yeah. and there isn't how would you even feel ju kama wanadanganya wakilia machozi eh how can you know you will just feel the yeah eh huu unaweza kuja hapo ndanganya ukilia but ai oh wewe ni pr hiyo wati lunezi machozi si amini <laughs> you may prepare to kulia in that opportunity. I will end the script because at this point, minute one point two, I start, <laughs> start crying. I just feel it. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But me personally, I there's a same ni koivo. I'll feel only genuine with me. I'll feel ah ah upon ni panga. No kshanza kuni panga kwa kileangu ni kshanza kupanga. Tu panga ni basi. Tu panga. Ome mo kuni panga pia mita kupanga. But when I feel ah uko genuine ah pia mi mi nenda tuna script ya kuna na. Yeah. So I'll trust you as a couple. I'll trust you as much as I feel that connection. As much as I feel you're genuine ah. Then it's possible yeah. to trust. Yeah. But Alan, yes. at a quick point because you wanted to say something. Yeah. In your in your experience yeah. as a relationship coach, yeah. I'm sure watu wamekuletea ma issues. Yes. Hakuna mwenye umeona enyewe walikoseana, mashida ilikuwa nyingi, but eventually they were able to rebuild trust. Yeah, people can rebuild trust. And uh, even before even we get to be rebuilding trust, mm-hmm. you get to that point whereby you've come to, uh, you told me that you know what Alan and Akukatia na we are in a relationship. Mm-hmm. Why are you telling me this? You are telling me this so that we be <laughs> accountable. <laughs> he said <laughs> you're having way too much fun. <laughs> I know. So you look at it. Eh? Uh, 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 it is a, a question of maybe you are telling me so that we be accountable to each other. We protect each other. So it is all about the intentionality. Why are you telling me? So then what is the way forward? So moving from there, that is when we have to establish step by step uh, uh, ways on how we can be able to protect us and become even more vulnerable and open to each other because it's a sign of strength. It's not a weakness. So the other thing, back to what you are saying, it is easier to, be, to rebuild trust if and only if you promise that uh, I'm going to, to hold my side of the bargain, no matter what, because there are some people, because the situation has not been presented. You find someone can be so trusting, like they can be so loving, they can be so honest, because they have not been presented with an opportunity for them to cheat. Mm-hmm. So maybe this opportunity, because it has come, you have to look at the situation and look at it, okay, to what extent should I go? But the, but most of the cracks will begin in the relationship because of that uh, particular incident that really happened. And on the man's side, you have a lot of things to do so that to prove your worth for you to be in the life of this lady. So it is it is a question of you putting in so much work to prove your worth. And most of the time, most of the people happen to what they tend to fail because putting in the work to be able to regain that. It's like they say trust is like a broken glass. Unaza imen, unaza ka super gulu, fanya nini. But it will never, ever, ever be the same. Because also, again, patterns will never lie. And ladies are good at rem- reminding you. You remember 1949? You <laughs> did this. <laughs> you get. It's memory. Yes. But for us men, we are like, yeah, we forgive each other and forget. But now, you guys hold on to it. So, you yeah. see, if we're in the relationship, anything minute happened. You start crying. I'm like, why are you crying? You remember 1959, you did this and this. So I'm like, <laughs> it is the anniversary of you cheating. I'm like... <laughs> <laughs> it's the anniversary of you cheating. <laughs> That's something new. <laughs> but it takes a lot of intentionality yes. based on what you're saying. And as the comment agreed, yeah. it takes intentionality yeah. on both parties. Yeah. Uh, what I'm willing. Yeah. So I have one question yes, that was posed on X. So this is Samuel Washira, he says, en- enjoying the show, big up to patients. Just one question to her, what should a young man do when they are not in good terms with their parents, especially mothers? So we can both address this. So patients, you can give us your perspective. What should a young man do when they are not in good terms with their parents, especially their mother? So maybe you can give me the answer in 30 seconds or less, if it were possible. Oui. I'd say just talk to them as simple as that. 
as I said earlier, you don't know what is going on with them. Yeah. Your mask, nini, nini. I'm just talking to them who understand situation do a matter. Sionika kuna kitu ingine. Just talk to them. Yeah, just talk to them. Yeah. And just tell them what's on your mind. Set you on a feature. Tell them, you know, when you do this, I feel like this. And I don't feel good. So if you stop doing this, itakuwa feel vizuri. You just tell them, this is how I feel. And if you stop doing this to me, or if you start doing this to me, I'll start feeling this way and it will make me productive in one way or another. Yeah. So just presenting yourself in a way that she can understand it. Mm. Yeah. Thank you for that. Alan, what's yeah. your opinion on that? What do you think the young man should do if her get along with Mamake? Uh, number one thing is, uh, first of all, forgive yourself for what, uh, what, what really happened. Then the other thing is um, uh, uh, change your, your behavior so that not only to sweet your mom, but because you've realized that maybe I was on the wrong. Then have a conversation with her. Have a conversation, understand where she's coming from, and get into her shoe. Then through that, build a conversation the way she was saying. Have this conversation, mom, why did you do this? You get through that and suggest to her. Maybe she was doing it out of a, uh, from a point of ignorance, or she was not aware, you, you understand? And they're also human. Yeah. They're also human, they will tend to understand you. No, no. So it is not, we cannot just uh, be like, okay, Nisawa. Yeah. Just have a conversation. Have a conversation, yeah. And I like that. I think you've, you've really summed up this yeah. conversation, yeah. Vizuri. Talk to your parents. So many, us, oh, so many of us are going through challenges, especially with our African parents, because we feel like they don't understand us or they do not receive what we say well. You have to understand your parents are humans. Every single person around you exists in their own space. They have their own issues. They're dealing with their own traumas. So it's very important for you to understand every individual that you're dealing with. Mtoki kukosea, understand why wali kukosea, and see if there is some integrity in the apology. If you forgive someone, let it come from your heart. Isikwe msamaha ya kusema tu. Forgive someone genuinely from your heart. Building trust is something that takes time, and it's upon you to decide if you want to trust this person or not. And I think that is it for the day. I want to thank our guests. They've been so wonderful. Alan has a new book that he's released. Unfortunately, we've not had time to tackle that. But please go on his platforms. This is a book about keeping your love life alive. And so many people are, ch are dealing with the love issues and relationship issues. This and so many books have been produced by Alan. Patience is also a poet as well as a journalist. So follow them on their platforms and keep in touch. My name is Cheryl Blessing. I want to thank the entire team of Power Talk. And that is it. Stay tuned to Y254 TV for more interesting programs coming your way. Thank you so much. Thank you.